Hi folks, Victor the Magician here, as always, uh, riding out corner in style still with my fancy silk shirt. That sentence, some of the letters got modelled up somehow. <laughs> riding out Corona in style with my fancy silk shirt. And of course, a beautiful deck of playing cards. These are Tycoons by Fury11. They're our deck of the day. They have this gorgeous gold and black box design, really elaborate. Like a lot of Fury11 cards, basically. Uh, the cards themselves I'm less sure of, though. I mean, the Joker is really swanky and elegant. I like that a lot. But... Check out the face cards. Can you spot what's wrong with it? Realistic flesh tone on the faces of an otherwise stylized card. Now, is it just me or does that look ever so slightly sinister? <laughs> but we are going to be using them because uh, I paid £10 for them. I'm not going to waste the bloody things. I think it was about £10 for these anyway. Doesn't matter. That's not the important thing. The important thing is that today we're going to be trying an ambitious card routine. And the interesting thing about an ambitious card routine is there's so, so many different ways to do it. I'm just going to angle the camera down so you can see the deck and the uh, card map rather than my face and my increasingly unmanageable hair, which is... I mean, I like having long hair, but Corona has just made going to the barbs impossible, so this is way longer than it actually should be. So, uh... That's irrelevant though, so let's just get on with the trick. Okay, so as I say, there's lots of different ways to do the uh, to do the ambitious card routine. We are going to be using for our ambitious card, the card I showed you a moment ago, the Queen of Hearts. And one of the things you can do, the very most the most basic version of this trick, is you place that Queen of Hearts in the middle of the deck, and you show people that there isn't a duplicate there, and there's not a duplicate there. The only place that card exists is right there in the middle of the deck. So if we close up the deck, there's no possible way the Queen of Hearts could be anywhere near the top of the deck. But if I just do this, there she is. Now, I don't especially like that method because I think if you've got a sharp eye, you can kind of see what's happening there, even if you're not a magician. In fact, if you did spot it, if you did... Uh, Guess what was going on there? Please put it in the comments. There might be some sort of a reward. I'm thinking of doing a uh, instructional video for one of the tricks that I've posted so far, and I will let you decide which one if you can figure out how that bit was done, basically. So we're going to try a slightly different method. And that is just possibly the most classic me method, the most classic version of it, where you just take the target card, the ambitious card, you pop it right into the middle of the deck, Give the cards a flick, and there it is back on top again almost immediately. So I really like that version, but I think it's not as elegant as I would like. It's very straightforward, it's a bit too direct, a bit too blunt. So I prefer a slightly more elaborate version where we take the Queen of Hearts, place her on the uh, mat down there, and we actually give the cards a bit of a shuffle just to make sure they're in really genuinely random order. And even a few cuts on top of that just to really make sure of it. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll take this opportunity to show off one of the fanciest cuts in my repertoire just because I can. And having done that, we then take the Queen of Hearts and place her in the middle of the deck. Give the cards a riffle like that. And once again, she comes right back to the top. Now... There is a final method of doing that, which I think is the most elegant, because we're going to try and take what we just did and evolve it a little bit. So we'll take the Queen of Hearts again. There she is. Perfectly ordinary card. And we're just going to pop her down there. And this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the deck face up and place her face down in the middle of it. There we are. See, there she is just uh, sticking out the deck there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to spread through these cards and she's going to vanish completely, like this. Okay, I'm hoping you can see that from the camera, but as you... Yeah, I think you can. As you can see, all the cards are now face up. That face down Queen of Hearts has vanished. And I'll tell you why, why that's happened. It's because... She made her way back to the top position of the deck. So as you can see, uh, it's a really, really versatile card trick, the ambitious card routine. Lots of magicians have a version of what I just did. 
many of them are much better. But I think what I've demonstrated to you is there are a hundred different ways in magic of achieving the same basic effect. If you've got a version of the ambitious card routine that you know about that I didn't demonstrate there, please let me know in the comments and I will see you next time for more magic. Sorry, I thought I pressed the stop button, the hammer just clicked a random <laughs> patch of screen. Let's try that again.